One of the things that I see so few people talking about when they're talking about the lymphatic system, and more times than not, is the reason why people are not getting results despite implementing lymphatic drainage, doing it the right way with the right pressure, all of that. There's one big thing, like real big thing, that's actually preventing you from being able to drain and that is your nervous system. You heard me right. Your nervous system can actually be putting the brakes on your body's ability to drain. The craziest part to me is, unfortunately, in today's day and age, most of us are stuck in a sympathetic state, sympathetic dominance, but we might also be stuck in parasympathetic inhibition. Mm. Ultimately, what that means is our nervous system, think of it as a teeter-totter, sympathetic, parasympathetic. We really should be able to switch fairly simply and fairly easily from one to another. With that being said, we really should be in parasympathetic majority of the time. When something stressful happens, when, you know, we feel threatened, we have to be able to switch over to that sympathetic state for that fight, flight, maybe even freeze. But ultimately, when we're in that state of fight, fight, or freeze with sympathetic dominance, our body is ultimately increasing cortisol. So the big thing that people are like, oh, it's high cortisol, it's high cortisol. Well, what's causing high cortisol? More times than not, it's our nervous system. And when we have high cortisol, we're like not digesting. We cannot digest digest our food properly. And it's because what happens is our body ultimately is shunting blood over to our muscles to be able to fight. So we have to get over into that parasympathetic state, that rest, digest, and drain. I'm adding that in, but that is definitely part of it. The parasympathetic is what allows us to literally function properly in our body. And if you heard me properly, rest, digest, and drain. Digest, and drain. Our gut and lymph go hand in hand. And so if you're somebody who is having problems digesting food on top of it all, you're not having regular bowel movements or you're not having enough bowel movement coming out, that is also a problem. So let's talk about what can we do? What can we do to get us from this fight flight to rest, digest, and drain? Well, there's a couple things. The first thing is we want to be focusing on vagal nerve stimulation. The vagus nerve is part of our parasympathetic nervous system. It is one of the longest, most fascinating nerves in the body. It comes out right around where our tonsils are and goes all the way down to our diaphragm. That means that when we are breathing properly, meaning belly breathing, using our diaphragm, none of this short chest breathing, we're actually stimulating our nervous system to flip into that rest digest and drain. How amazing is that? So simply focusing on how we breathe can massively affect how we drain. Not to mention belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing is what is going to create that pressure change in our cavity, in our internal cavity, that's going to help suck up the lymphatic fluid from our legs, our toes, our abdomen, everything below our belly button up into the thoracic duct so that it can come up and drain here on the left side or left termini. Without belly breathing, we cannot drain. We just can't. And if we're not in that parasympathetic state, we're not gonna drain very well either. So the first thing that I'm gonna highly recommend you do in practice is belly breathing. Some other simple things that you can do would be humming. Humming vibrates the vocal cords. And if you remember me saying that vagus nerve comes out right over here, so when you hum, it's stimulating your vagus nerve. So humming and gargling is another good thing. So put water in your mouth, go You don't have to swallow it, but do it as long as you can. And that is another way that you can stimulate that nerve. Some other things that I really like are things like vibration. So you you can take a tuning fork and put it in through there, rubbing it up and down. I have a footer on mine to make it a little easier so it's not as scratchy. You can sing. You can also do KT tape, meaning you get kinesio tape and you put it right along where the vagus nerve runs, right along your SCM. And that way, every time you move, your neck, you're stimulating the vagus nerve. So that is another great way to passively do it. A lot of people find it very relaxing. Some people find it irritating. You gotta make sure you put it on properly, not too tight. But those are just a few things that you can do. 
The number one though, guys, is proper breathing. Let me know below if you would like me to talk more about diaphragmatic breathing, belly breathing, how to do it so that you can help shift you from this fight flight to more of a rest, digest, and drain. Because that very well could be the missing link to why you are not draining. Thanks for being here and always happy draining.